Morning YouTube. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do today is um, part three of this video. We're gonna put the caps on the ends of the hydraulic reservoir and uh, we welded uh, the top uh, vent pipe and we've threaded all the things that needed to be threaded in the last video. So now we're just ready to put the caps on. I'll be tack welding that up to start. So that's the other end. You can see I got good uh, heat penetration there. And uh, we used 100, what I use on that? 100 amps. Uh, the, next, the next click on the welder would have been 140. And that's uh, wide open. So I didn't need it. I got uh, good heat, good penetration, uh, good bead. Uh, running about uh, 260 inches a minute and uh, 100 amps. So I got good good penetration and I melted those uh, edges. So we got to we still have to test it. So what I'm going to do, let this cool. I'll wind up um, filling it up with uh, water, and then I'm going to pressurize it to five psi just to make sure I don't have any leaks, and then uh, we'll put the axles on. Okay, that's going to do it for today. We've got the uh, spindles. Uh, they're all welded on and on both sides. And next thing we got to do is get some wheels. Wheels and tires. Uh, that'll, that'll be a purchase, I guess, down the road. I think what I'm going to do next is block this up and put it on some jacks or cinder blocks and then start working on cutting the I-beam. That'll probably be uh, what happens on Monday. So I uh, hope everyone has a happy Easter and uh, we'll, catch you, we'll catch you on Monday and we'll pick, up, uh, we'll pick up where we left off. All right, thanks a lot guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. There was bacon.
Yeah, you're supposed to be here, though. Alright, you're now on the subject.